Hey y'all, how are you doing? You can't answer, you're not here, you're in a computer. So I hope you are getting ready for a super exciting weekend or restful or whatever you need type of weekend. My name is Sarah Swartz, welcome to All Sorts of Crazy. Um, I'm just about to head out, but before I leave, I wanted to show you how we do our stations or centers or whatever you call them. I definitely don't do these every week because some students do really well with the amount of independent work they have to do and some students struggle. So I try to sprinkle it in uh, once every few weeks. I'm super fortunate because I can use centers that are almost exactly the same for my seventh and my eighth graders because both of them get to work on No Red Ink, Membean, and Literary Devices this week. And then the fourth station was uh, an introduction to their novel. So I only had to personalize the last station for each class. So I take these clear little, um, I don't know what you call them, page protectors, and I put all the directions in there. That way um, they don't get torn up or thrown away. People don't think they're trash. Um, and as they go to each station, they can see what they should be working on. All the directions are listed out. So if they have any questions, they should be able to check this paper or with a shoulder buddy and somebody's going to understand. We just finished writing our essays for Patriot's Pen. So the first station was they had to turn in their essay, right? They already got points for writing it and editing it, but handing it to me was actually worth five points. Every single student had to start on station one and then they could choose to go to station four or station three or station two. After station one, I did not care what station they went to so long as they finished station one. I'm back. Uh, I got the rubric or the checklist for them. I'll leave that up there so you can see it for just a moment. I left station five blank intentionally so that they could fill in their own novel. So I have one class starting Hatchet, one starting Esperanza Rising, and one starting Call of the Wild. So under station five, they could just fill in their own novel. Then I gave them this checklist um, because sometimes they'll try to um, fill these in so that they know that they're done, but then it looks like they have a grade and they don't. And so I give them this checklist in the middle and it actually says, when you are done, you get to check this. And then the other one um, is for Mrs. Swartz to check off your points. It's so little because I'm all about saving paper. I kept all of these after they put their name on it. So they put their name in their period as well as whatever novel they were finishing that they're starting. Um, and then I actually kept these because this will get lost. And if I gave them points for, you know, doing their membean and their no red ink, then, and they lost it, then I'd have to go back and check. So I kept these for the entire week. Okay, come with me. So if you can see my classroom, I've got a bunch of pods together and then I have this back table. So what I would do is at the beginning of every class, we would kind of review what my expectations were, um, how many points they should have by the end of the day. Um, and then I would put a station at each pod. That way, whenever I went to a pod and I saw students working, I should know exactly what they're working on. If you were at station three, so if station three was in this pod group, everyone at this pod group should be working on Membean. Um, and then it's really easy to tell who's on task and who's not. Um, and then and then I can also keep the supplies at one table. When my kiddos were ready for me to check them off, they would come put their name under what category they wanted me to check them so that I wasn't constantly being bombarded by papers. Side note, here's our new literary wall that some of my girls put together for us. It looks so good and so now all of our literary devices are up on the wall. Thank you so much for watching. It is about time for me to be heading out of here and enjoying my weekend. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, all that jazz so that you can see our next videos coming up. Hope you have an awesome weekend. Keep making education an everyday adventure. Bye.